So this is the MM11 Microfiber Madness Incredi Knit. So this is very similar to the G-Technic uh, um, WM2 mitt that we just talked about. The price of it is £14, uh, I've got £14 roughly. So it's a little bit more expensive than the um, Incredi mitt. It seems slightly bigger and it actually seems slightly thicker as well. So really, you know, there is not much in it. I wouldn't be surprised if these were made in exactly the same place. The microfiber pattern or layout looks exactly the same. Um, even the um, even the kind of um, the the wrist kind of sort of elasticated fabric looks identical. So these could well be made in the same place. Um, if I had to pick which one of the two, I would go with this one because it's slightly it looks slightly thicker and slightly bigger, so you can get more material. Um, for the two quid, that wouldn't bother me. But either these products are, are, are virtually identical, so really everything I've said about the um, the last one is valid to this. It's a it's a safe product. It will last a long time, and it's halfway house in terms of price. So it's a good option. Okay, so the the next option that I want to talk about is the Meguiar's Deep Pile Microfiber Mitt. It's about eight or nine pounds. Um, they sell them in Halford, so they're popular. There's a lot of people out there using these this particular mitt. Um, one thing I'll say about it, the pile on it is not deep compared to all of the products we've talked about up until now. All of them have a deeper, safer pile that's gonna be making contact with your paintwork. This is a couple of pounds cheaper than a lot of the products we've talked about. Or, you know, a lot cheaper than the very expensive kind of um, supernatural wash mitt. However, if you are interested in how safe a product is on your paintwork, this, in my opinion, is the least safe out of all of the products we have seen, purely because of how absorbent and how deep that pile is. It's pretty shallow. The, uh, the manufacturing quality of them isn't great. If you ever turn one inside out and have a look at the stitches, you pull on the, pull on the stitches on them, it just, a lot of time they come off in your hand, but some of the other ones are guilty of that as well. But for me, I wouldn't recommend this product because there are more safer products out there than this one. Okay, so the next product we're gonna talk about, we're moving on to the noodle op options now. The first of those options is the Kent Car Care two-in-one wash noodle. You can pick these up for about four or five quid, I think four quid even. Uh, I think they sell them in, in B&Q in the UK, so they're, they're gonna be in circulation. You'd, also, you'd normally associate, you wouldn't really buy detailing stuff from B&Q if you've ever been in there. They've got this tiny little section full of Simona's products and you know, some nasty stuff that you know you wouldn't normally use unless you're desperate. But this is actually this Kent uh, two-in-one car care wash noodle is a really good product. So on one side you've got this mesh mitt that you probably wouldn't want to use on your paintwork, but you might if you've got these dirty wheels that you're not OCD about. You know they're not Ferrari alloys. You might be quite happy rubbing, getting that dirt off your wheel with this wash mitt that's a lot more kind of aggressive or trim you'd be happy with that or glass you know you'd use that on your glass and then the the noodle kind of chanel microfiber pile side is fantastic you know this this is a really safe thing to put on your car um a lot of people will buy these for wheels only so they'll go with two options they might have a really expensive lambs wool um mitt for their paintwork and then something like this for their wheels that's a really good idea to do and you know most people have a separate wash bucket as well for their for their wheels because that bucket will get filthy very quickly um, so I like this product for the price you're starting to get into that price now where you are sort of saving money the top end 25 quid four quid for this other good advantage of this is it will last you years and years and years um, probably only less than the um, than the um, thick pile microfiber options that we're talking about because these do start to come apart after a few years and they go you know it'll just break down slowly um, yeah so this is a good product and um, the only reason you might not pick this is if you're not worried about price and the offerings that we've talked about previously you could argue um, are better for your paint works you know they they the pile on them is better for your paintwork. 
um, but these these are still fantastic. Okay, just very quickly, this is another microfiber offering. It's the uh, it's just a microfiber nude sorry Chanel microfiber noodle mitt from the Ragmaster. It just it, the only difference between this and the Kent Car one is it doesn't have any meshing or gauzing in it. Um, the microfiber quality feels slightly softer to me, although it's probably a specul speculative thing. It's also cheaper, I think it's about £3.50. Um, I get through quite a lot of these, I bought about 10 of them when I, when I got them and I, and I go through them quite, quite quickly. Um, again, they're great for all the things we talked about. The disadvantage actually, the Kent Car 2-in-1 has that mesh side with foam backing, so again you can load up with a bit more product with it and that mesh backing is quite useful for other surfaces beyond paintwork. But this, um, this, this noodle from the Ragmaster is a good, is a good option for £3.50 or whatever it costs. Okay, the next option, this is the Sonax Microfiber Wash Sponge. It's £6.95. So this is the Chanel um, noodle microfiber um, material that we've just been talking about. Um, and that is wrapped around a sponge. That sponge is not making contact with your paintwork because it's covered. Um, on the other side is a thin layer of standard sort of terry cloth style microfiber. So again, you've got this side if you want to go on your paintwork or where you get that really absorbent kind of um, noodle Chanel microfiber. And this other side where you've got microfiber but it's thin sort of pile. That would be ideal for going over your glassware or something like that. Um, the biggest advantage of this product out of everything that we've talked about today, if you've got something, a sponge that's covered, so we've got a sponge essentially that's covered by all this microfiber, you've got a massive amount of um, absorption capability with that sponge so you can load up tons of soap suds and then when you're putting that on there, on your paint, you know, you're pushing down and the soap suds are going everywhere. That's something you really, that's really good because it really, more lubrication, more product you get there, the less you're going to scratch. So this, this type of product's actually really good. Um, just the problem is, it's, it's not, you know, the noodle pile isn't as safe as the lamb's wool pile and it doesn't glide over your paintwork as good. So you know that really, it's a fantastic option to have. So I would highly recommend this this uh, this type of product, the Sonax um, sponge, to have when you're cleaning a car. You definitely, out of all of them, I'd say it's probably the best one to do do your wheels with because you can load up with product. You can really kind of get in there with it, um, and um, it's very cheap at six pound ninety five. It will last a hell of a long time, and it's a good product. Mm -hmm. The next one is the Halfords. Um, Halford's Chanel sponge or whatever it's called. What's it called? Okay, so the next one is the Halford's two-in-one wash sponge. So this is this this product I think is three pounds. I don't know if it's still three pounds, but I think it was three pounds when I got it. Um, this is very similar to the Sunax sponge that we just talked about, except it hasn't got a microfiber backing on one side, it's got this mesh kind of material which is a bit more aggressive. This if this is still three pounds, I would say go and get this one over the Sonex one. This is fantastic for doing your wheels with. Um, you know, you can do your paintwork with it as well if you're careful. Again, it's not quite as um, absorbent, if you like, the noodle, the Chanel microfiber as the other options. But you know, a lot of people aren't going to want to pay 25 quid for a mitt to do their car. Three pounds sounds probably just about right for some people. So if you're not um, massively into detailing, you don't want to spend loads of money. This is a really good product, one of few from Halfords. Um, but yeah, I, I, this I've had for years and years. The sponge in it is all deteriorated and broken down, but it still works fine. Um, so I'd actually say just go and buy one of these for three quid. Um, and last but not least, this is just a microfiber sponge. So this is a sponge wrapped in a sort of short, fluffy microfiber. Um, what's to say about this? So people don't use sponges on their paintwork because a sponge is like a glorified applicator. If there's dirt, the sponge will hold it down. Like, I think we might have talked about that earlier on. It's like a perfect applicator for dirt to scratch it over your clear coat. 
So this has got a protective layer around the sponge, so again, you can load up with all your soft products, wipe it out. However, the pile on it is very short, so it's dirt kind of absorption capabilities is the least, it's the thinnest out of all of the products we've talked about. So why, this is 6.95 I think, and you can probably get them cheaper, but why bother? The Sonex one with the Chanel, noodle, uh, the Chanel noodles on them, or the Halfords one with the Chanel noodles, offers you everything this does, but it also gives you that, that um, noodle structure, so you could use it on your paintwork. So this is not a bad product, don't get me wrong, but for seven pounds, you've got, we've took, gone through this whole range of premium things that are only a couple of pounds more expensive than this, so really, if you go and buy one of these, you're wasting seven quid, in my opinion. There's much better things out there. Um, just before we start sort of summarising what, what, what we've got here and what we've been through, there are real cheap offerings out there. Every now and then when it's Christmas, one of my family will go and buy me a pack of like Tesco's microfiber and in it you'll find a wash mitt that's microfiber. Um, these are generally pretty much garbage, you know. They are so short, the, the pile on them, it's like the same sort of microfiber that's on the sponge. You don't get much protection. Um, you know, I, I've had so many of these, I just bin them half the time, but I've found a couple of these in the bottom of the um, in the bottom of the box where I keep all the microfibers. So I thought I'd mention them. You know, if you see these products around, you know, in, in Costco or whatever, I would just probably say avoid them because um, it, even though they're cheap, if you're really, really like a real bargain hunter, and we all, I suppose we all are a little bit, we talked about one product in the lamb's wool section that was a pound 10. You know, no one's gonna sell you these in the UK for less than a quid. And if they are, you're juggling between pennies between this and that Chinese lamb's wool one. The Chinese lamb's wool one will win hands down any day. So don't bother with all these cheap kind of, um, you know, JML offerings or wherever they come from, you know. Okay, so we're going to try and uh, round this video up now. It's been going on for a while. Well done for making it this far. Uh, what we're going to try and do is just sort of assign an overall winner to this video so we can answer the question of what I think the best wash mitt is. Now best is a subjective term, my best is going to be different from someone else's best. Um, a professional who's cleaning Ferraris and Bugattis best will be different from um, you know the guy down the, the car wash place that's got to clean 50 cars in one day so you know it goes without saying so this is the best really I suppose for a hobbyist that um, is probably into polishing so they're getting their clear coat in a very good condition and they know about keeping that clear coat in good condition they've got a great wash routine going and they want the mitt that's going to minimize the amount of damage to their car but a mitt which is also cost effective um, very nice to use loads up lots of product on there it isn't going to snag and rip bits of their trim off. Um, so here we go. Without further ado, my winner out of all of these products is the Adams Wash Pad. Um, like I said, it's a very speculative thing. So this doesn't win on being the safest and most absorbent. Uh, it wins on being the best all-round option for somebody who's an enthusiast. Um, it would probably edge it over the um, lamb's wool options I'm just going to talk about now because of the fact for me you can throw it in the washing machine um, and it's washing machine safe. That just edges it for me. That and the fact that I can't, I struggle to tell the difference in how it feels against the lamb's wool. So the Adams wash pad, you can get it from, in the, if you're in the UK, from uh, prestigecarcare.com website. Um, The runner-up for me, I had to pick between one of these three, which is the Supernatural Wash Mitt, the Wookiee's Fist, the Duca Wash Pad, or the Sea Quartz Wash Mitt. Well, they're all fantastic, they really are. But this one, it's like wearing a giant boxing glove. It is a bit more prone to snagging, although it's got the deepest, safest pile. And it's really high quality and it's a great it's a great thing it's also the most expensive so this didn't win the runners up so I'm just gonna move that out of the way but it's still a great product so between the runner-up then was between the Duca and the Sea Quartz um, 
again, I, re I really like this C quartz. So I thought it was, you know, I thought it was a great, great option. The thing with it is, I know there's loads of these around on, on eBay that are going cheaper, you know. They might even be, be made by the same people. Um, the fact that I think it's glued rather than genuine um, lamb's hide, I think, I'm not 100% sure on that, means that it probably isn't as authentic as the Duca pad, which I know is a handmade product. The Duca pad has two sides to it as well, so you are, if you're working one side and you've got some dirt, you don't want to go keep going back to the bucket, you can flip over and you get a completely different side. Um, so the Duca for me edges it. It's tiny little things. So the Duca wash pad comes second in this test to the, uh, to the Adams wash pad. However, the caveat being if ultimately the, the fact that you don't um, care about the fact you have to hand wash this and you might have to just let it dry naturally, you know, in a, in a, don't put it in your airing cupboard or anything like that. If that doesn't bother you, then quite happily replace this and make it the number one winner because it's a brilliant product. When you first get it, this is like a thing of beauty. You almost don't want to use it. It's so nice. Um, so it's a fantastic product and I really love it. Um, so yeah, the Duca wash pad available from Duca .co.uk, I believe, are the only people that sell it. You can Google Duca wash pad and you'll find out who's selling it, you know, uh, if, you, if, you, if, if that link doesn't work. The Duca wash pad. Okay, before I end the video, I just want to talk about a couple of honor, honorable mentions to some of the other products that I think, even though I've given two clear winners for me, there's some products that you definitely want to, wouldn't want to be without. So I wouldn't personally use the Adams wash mitt or the Duca to do my wheels because they'll get filthy. So it's good to have another backup mitt. So for me, the winner in that category of the second product that you're going to need to have is either the Halfords uh, wash sponge. There is nothing wrong with this product. I put it here instead of the Sonax one because it's half the price. If it's still at that price, you might want to check that. If it's more than £6.95, then get the Sonax one because it's got microfiber backing instead of the this. If it isn't, get this because it's so handy for doing your wheels and it's so handy, you don't care about getting this covered in dirt and stuff. You can throw it in the machine and it will last you, you know, this is this must be 10 years old and it's all right. Um, so that's a fantastic thing to go and buy. The other thing that I talked about, the Chinese, the Chinese one pound 10 pad with delivery, you know, go and buy five of these or even 10 or 20 of them. If you're a professional detailer, you could go and buy 50 of these. And if you're doing a real high end car, you know, you could give a sample of some products away and one of these mitts with it to the guy, you know, who you're detailing the car for. That would always go down well. Um, but it's also really nice to use. It, everything about this this is great. Um, the only unknown for me is how long it lasts. Is it going to suddenly start falling apart? I don't think it is. I think it's glued on there pretty well. It's already been through the machine a couple of times. And, um, you know, for, for a pound, this is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that's pretty much all of those wash mitts done. Um, uh, that that's a large range. There are other ones out there, so you know if you feel that there was one missed, we can um, probably add that in and do another video last year. But uh, with those are the options that we've covered are a lot of the popular ones that you see recommended online. And like I say, my winner overall by tiny tiny factors that just that that mean I like it was the Adams wash pad. So uh, hope this uh, very geeky video. <laughs> was kind of worth watching and um, I hope you've kind of uh, seen a few options of what's out there to buy. So thanks very much. Cheers.